Hey guys, Dean from Hellacious. Just got a new drop of Curtis Custom Knives to hit the shop. We'll go through those uh, and we'll also show you some excellent consignments that we have uh, that hopefully will not last long due to how kind of rare they are. All right, we'll start out here on the left. Uh, this is the F3 Medium Slim. So you guys, you know, he brought out his F3 Medium Slims. We're going to talk about those. Uh, these are the new F3 Large Slims. Uh, all Magna Cut, all the Dave's Knives now are Magna Cut. Um, this is the uh, Frag Mill pattern. Uh, that's his slicer blade configuration. So excellent knife. Just to give you guys a kind of a an idea, here's the slim and here's the regular, right? So you can see uh, there is a lot of weight dropped here as well as uh, I would say beefiness in the scales. Still absolutely, you know, use these knives, heavy use knives. They're built like tanks. Uh, so don't let the slim frame scare you. We now uh, move on to uh, another F3. Uh, this is with the uh, Spanto blade. Uh, this one is a gorgeous blue and you can see the blues and purples in there. Uh, this is the SPM mill pattern, a uh, really popular pattern for us. So I would call it a dark stone wash type blade finish. Really, really pretty knife. This says bronze hardware. Uh, classic day flip. Really pretty knife. Okay, we got another large slim. Another SPM milled, but this is all grayed out with slicer blade configuration. Uh, flamed hardware here. Uh, flaming in the... It's what's cool here is that you can see the flaming and the pivots actually in each of the circles and in the in crosshair, which is cool. Cool knife. Just subtle, subtle stuff on this one, which is really cool. I like the way how subtle it looks. All right, now we're gonna get into the F3 mediums. Uh, this one, you can see all kinds of colors going on in this one, purples, blues, uh, depending on the light you get, uh, a little bit of green. Uh, same thing on this pivot. You can see here that um, it's been anodized in the circle on the crosshair. Uh, this is a Spanto, I'm sorry, Warney configuration. Uh, this is called his ball mill configuration. But I think the colors of these are pretty crazy. That's a beautiful knife. All right. Then we get into the slicer flipper. Uh, this is... His PM milled, uh, I would say, uh, this is the awesomest knife I've seen come out of Dave uh, from a flaming perspective in a while. Gorgeous knife. Um, I think it speaks for itself. Pretty cool. All right, SPM mill. Uh, so to guys, to give you an idea, we'll hold the large up against the small. So you can kind of see the difference. Again, the, the smalls, very cool. Again, this one has the anodization in the pivot as well. Um, you know, we, we've been hugely successful selling these. Uh, we had, I took about 15 of them to Blade Show, came back with none. So uh, they... then we have, you know, a plain Jane F3 with bronze hardware, slicer configuration. Cool knife. All right. Um, I also have a ball mill uh, Spanto here with blues, grays, bronzes. A lot of cool colors on this knife, too. That's a cool configuration. All right, um, we were able to, Dave and I uh, have been very successful selling his Woolly Mammoth. So this is a cruise in Damasteel. This was actually Dave's knife. Um, he had built one for himself. Uh, I needed another one because I was out uh, and he actually shipped me his. So 
beautiful pattern on the diamond steel here. You can see it. And then the blues and the, all the color and the woolly mammoth here on the back are the phenomenally cool knife. Um, also woolly mammoth in the centers of the pivots. Um, classic cruise. Awesome. Uh, these are a couple of consignments that we got in. Uh, I had six of them. I took them to Blade. I only have two left. Uh, they're all, a customer bought a set of antique green with bronze hardware in damasteel steel uh, of every one of Dave's patterns. Uh, these are the two I have left. Beautiful knives, bronze, as I said, pivots. Um, the damasteel steel on these are, is, is nuts too. You can see the patterns there. see this one super light um, you know it's been never carried um, none of these knives have been carried but again the uh, the damage steel on these is, is nuts um, there's a little bit of oil on this I apologize for that uh, but you can see the, the patterns there so for an f3 large uh, this is hugely light to carry because of all of the skeletonization that has been done here on the scales so beautiful knife um, should go to a nice home oh, lastly uh, <laughs> I get the little UDT I got one of them left um, again this is sharp here and sharp here so you can scrape or cut uh, it is the size of a dog tag uh, very small uh, with lanyard holes, so you could use it as a neck knife if you wanted to. Fits in a jean coin pocket very well. Uh, very cool little knife. Um, and this is the PM milled. Cool. Uh, one star of the show I will show you today. Uh, we were able to get a couple of the CZ75 SP01s in. Uh, excellent. Obviously one of uh, CZ's best-selling guns. Uh, it does have night sights. Uh, it does have the uh, fiber optic front sight. It is the plus two configuration. So uh, in the magazine, you do get that extra plus two, which makes a difference, especially in this gun. It gives you a lot of capacity. Um, it does have the pick rail. So if you wanted them out of light, uh, it is an all steel gun, so it's heavy. So you know you're carrying it. Um, but one of the best sellers that we have in the store is the CZ SP01. So check us out. Um, we, we are now uh, in partnership with KPL. So we do carry uh, all of the KPL, uh, L, you know, KPL loops here. Now the knife shield is amazing stuff, by the way. Um, protects the knife, anti-corrosive, food safe, removes stickers, uh, sticker stuff. So if you use your knife to cut boxes, um, definitely takes that stuff right off. Um, we have that available in store and on the site as well. So give us a call in the shop if you see something you like. Uh, 800-936-3280. Uh, hit us up on any social media platform uh, or hit us up on the web at www.hellacious.com uh, and we will get these out to you next business day. Thanks again, everybody. Please like, subscribe, hit the bell, leave a comment. It helps feed the algorithms. Uh, you know, we are working on putting more content out. You know, we have a large amount now. Uh, we're going to continue to do that uh, as we go along. Uh, we'll do some night videos tomorrow. Thanks, guys. Take care.